Oleg, who was born in Ukraine, spent most of his life working at an animal sanctuary in South Africa. As a veterinarian and amateur photographer, Oleg often patrolled the area with his camera, capturing the beauty and essence of the wildlife. One day, while driving through the African savanna during the afternoon, he experienced an event that would change his life forever. In the distance, Oleg spotted a lion hiding among the bushes. This was a rare sight, and Oleg had never been this close to such a wild animal before. Typically, he sedated the animals he treated, ensuring they were calm and safe during the process. As soon as the lion noticed Oleg, it became uneasy and tried to stand up. Panic surged through Oleg and he instinctively pointed his rifle at the lion, convinced it was about to attack him. However, the lion did nothing. It seemed unable to move. At that moment of tension, Oleg noticed something crucial. The lion's paw was caught in a trap. The sight of the lion's trapped paw made it clear that the animal was in great pain and unable to move. Oleg felt a mixture of relief for his own safety and horror at the inhumane way this magnificent creature had been captured. He was certain that poachers were responsible for this atrocity. The region was plagued by poachers who set these traps to capture valuable animals, selling their skins, teeth, and claws illegally. They did not discriminate, setting traps for lions, elephants for their tusks, crocodiles for their skins, antelopes for their horns, and many other animals. Countless animals were being killed for profit, and this poor lion was about to become another victim of these ruthless poachers. Realizing the urgency of the situation, Oleg knew he had to act quickly before the poachers returned. He needed to save the poor animal as soon as possible. Gathering his courage, he decided to approach the lion and see if he could get close enough to the trap to free it. However, as he got closer, the frightened and pained lion roared at him and swiped at him with one of its massive paws, demonstrating both its strength and fear. Understanding that the lioness would not let him approach without a fight, Oleg quickly backed away. His professional experience enabled him to notice another crucial detail. When the lioness had attacked, he observed that her belly, particularly her teats, were swollen and full of milk. This indicated that she had cubs nearby. The cubs could not survive without their mother. Other predators could find them, harm them, or even kill them. Oleg knew he had to act quickly to prevent the cubs from starving or getting harmed. But with the mother lioness being so aggressive, there was no way to approach her directly. The kind-hearted man realized he had one option left. He had to find the cubs and bring them to their mother. Fortunately, Oleg knew that the cubs couldn't have gone far from their trapped mother. Being a skilled tracker, he began searching for the cubs' tracks around the area. After following a trail for a short distance, he heard promising sounds and discovered three lion cubs hidden among the tall grass, crying out for their mother. Oleg quickly and carefully picked up the cubs, holding them gently but firmly as he made his way back to the trapped lioness. As soon as the mother lioness saw her cubs, she roared again and made desperate attempts to free herself, driven by maternal instinct. Fearing that she might injure herself further, Oleg gently placed the cubs on the ground. They immediately ran to their mother, their small bodies moving quickly across the grass. Meanwhile, Oleg approached the lioness cautiously, speaking to her in a calm and soothing voice. His extensive experience with animals had taught him that this method often reassured distressed creatures. He needed to convey to the lioness that he meant no harm and wanted to help. Gradually, sensing that Oleg was not a threat, the lioness calmed down. When the cubs finally reached her, she lay down and allowed them to nurse, her body relaxing visibly. Oleg watched from a safe distance as the family reunited. He was relieved that the cubs had returned to their mother, but he was still unsure how to free the lioness. He stand there for a while, continuing to speak to her in soothing tones, hoping to build trust. He didn't know how long she had been trapped, but it was clear she needed food. Oleg quickly ran back to his car to see if he had any food. Finding nothing suitable, he decided to search the area. After a short search, he found a zebra carcass. Although there was little meat left, he knew it would suffice. The brave man cut a large piece of meat from the zebra and returned to the lioness and her cubs. The big cat, now less aggressive, watched Oleg as he tossed the meat within her reach. Hesitantly, the lioness stood up, sniffed the meat, and began eating. Oleg, knowing this was his opportunity, retrieved his tranquilizer rifle from the car. 
As the lioness was distracted by the meat, he aimed carefully and shot a tranquilizer dart into her. Once the tranquilizer took effect, he approached her cautiously, freed her paw from the trap, and began dragging her to the back of his truck. Oleg was so focused on his task that he didn't notice other lions approaching. As Oleg worked to lift the lioness, he suddenly realized that other lions had surrounded him. He slowly lifted his head and saw them only a few meters away. But instead of attacking, they stood there, observing. One of the lions walked right up to Oleg. Frozen with fear but determined to stay calm, Oleg waited without moving. To his astonishment, the lion began to rub against him, as if recognizing that he was helping their injured companion. After a brief moment, the lions disappeared into the distance. Oleg was left speechless by the incredible encounter. He finally managed to load the mother lioness and her cubs into his truck. Quickly getting behind the wheel, he drove towards the wildlife sanctuary, his mind racing with thoughts of the extraordinary events he had just witnessed. Upon arrival, other veterinarians rushed to assist. They immediately began treating the mother lioness while Oleg looked on, relieved and hopeful. Some time passed and the mother lioness made a full recovery. During her recuperation, she and her cubs grew increasingly friendly with Oleg, often approaching him and showing signs of affection. A few months later, it was time to release the lion family back into the wild. Before parting ways, Oleg shared a final, heartfelt embrace with the lions. The moment was bittersweet as he watched them return to their natural habitat, knowing he had made a lasting impact on their lives. Years went by and Oleg never saw the lions again. His life continued with the same passion and dedication to wildlife. One day while driving through the savanna, he spotted a pride of lions resting under a tree. He stopped his car at a respectful distance, observing them with a mixture of curiosity and nostalgia. One of the lions lifted its head, gazed at him intently, and then began walking towards him. At first, Oleg felt a wave of tension, not wanting to be attacked, but as the lion drew closer, he recognized it. It was one of the lions he had saved four years earlier. Astonished and overjoyed, Oleg realized the lion remembered him. Then the mother lioness and the other cubs, now grown, also approached. The mother lioness rubbed her head against him and began licking him affectionately. Oleg smiled, his heart full of joy as he gently petted and embraced the lions he had once saved. He couldn't have been happier. The lions had remembered the man who had rescued them from certain death. As Oleg returned to his car and drove home, he reflected on the incredible bond he had formed with these magnificent creatures and the profound impact they had had on his life. Please don't forget to like the video, share it with your loved ones, and subscribe to the channel.